All right, welcome back. We have an easy little program to go over here today. Uh, it's just using uh, the other digital switch, which is called a limit switch. Okay, so this is the guy we're going to code up today. If you ever forget the name, again, you just turn it over and it says what it is. There you go. Limit switch. Okay, I've plugged that in and attached it right above. Let me turn this around where I had the bump switch. Okay, so this is a limit switch. Instead of the bump, like on the bumper switch, this one just has a metal bar, and when you press it in and release it, then it performs your action. Okay? If you press it in, nothing happens. You do have to let go in order for that sensor to work. Okay? So attach it somewhere in front of the bump switch here. I just have it two lines ahead, two rows ahead, and then use screws and nuts from your toolbox to attach it. Okay? The programming is pretty easy for this. Open up the bump switch program you did yesterday, where we said until touch digital two, start motor, wait, stop motor. We're going to change this wait command in line three uh, to the limit switch. All right. So take this line three, backspace, go over here to natural language, all the way down to until. Because again, this is going to be an until command. The very bottom of this row says until touch. And I'm going to drag and drop that into line 9. Okay. So now sensor port. Huh, I didn't plug it in yet. So let's go see where we're going to plug that into our cortex. Okay. The bump switch was plugged into digital 2. That means digital 1 is open. Let's plug in this limit switch to digital number one okay so I'm gonna to go to my cortex find the sign side that says digital black wire towards the numbers jiggle a little bit and it should fit in there pretty easily all right so I have it plugged into digital one here I'm gonna type in digital one D G T L one excellent but on the top rows, I don't have digital one listed, so I have to go tell the computer that I plugged something into digital port one. Go to motor and sensor setup at the top. Remember, there's this tab for digital sensors, and then into digital one, I'm going to type in a name. What is that switch? It is a limit switch. L I M I T, capital S W I T C H. Okay, and I'm just using the same type of a uh, format I did for the bump switch to the limit switch. And then my drop down menu, it's a touch sensor, apply, and OK. So I did things in a little different order. It doesn't matter if you write your code first, if you do your setup first, if you plug stuff in first, as long as it all gets done in the end. Okay, I'm going to click compile program. No errors in my bottom screen, so I should be good. What this means is my program will wait until I touch whatever is plugged into digital port 2. It's going to start a motor, and that's going to keep running until I touch what is in digital port 1, and then it should stop the motor. Let's see if it works. All right. Let me grab my orange cord. Remember, cord goes into the cortex first. Then the other end goes into my computer. Uh, the light should come on. I wait, and I turn on the cortex. Let's see what we got going. So here in my program, download robot is the one I'm going to use to send my program over to my cortex. I press start when it allows me to. Oops. Oh, it's not cooperating. Start. And again, green line shows me the next line of the code that's going to play. I won't do anything until I press the bump switch. Hey, it actually works. And now it's waiting to stop the motor. That's going to be the next line of the program, but it won't do it until I press what's in digital one, which is a limit switch. Okay. Again, start, bump switch, limit switch. All right. Not too bad. Hope that works for you. Uh, good luck and happy coding.